Have you ever sat down with a calculator after a long week and crunched the numbers on what you're actually losing every time a bull calf is born on your dairy farm? If you are running a commercial Holstein or Jersey operation, you know the painful reality of the auction barn. That bull calf is often a liability. You might get $10 for him, or in some market crashes, you basically have to give him away just to get him off the feed bill. He is a byproduct that subtracts from your bottom line, but the American dairy landscape is shifting. Feed costs in the Midwest are climbing, milk checks fluctuate wildly, and relying on a single income stream is becoming a risky gamble. What if I told you there is a way to produce high-component milk without sacrificing the beef check? What if I told you there are cows biologically designed to pay for their own winter feed costs just with the sale of their male calves at the sale barn? In our last video, we analyzed the queens of volume, the specialists like the Holstein. Today, we are flipping the script. Today, we aren't chasing water records, we are chasing net profit and financial security. We are going to put the three European superpowers of dual purpose under the microscope. The Normande, the Montbelliard, and the Cemental Flecvie. These are not cows for the factory farm model. These are for the smart dairyman, the homesteader, and the regenerative farmer who wants to diversify who wants to tap into the booming artisan cheese market and wants to see muscular, valuable steers grazing in the pasture, turning grass into cash in two different ways. Forget the boring spec sheets. We are going to discover which of these three efficiency beasts is the exact missing piece for your operation to bulletproof your business. You are watching Farm Animals. Welcome! Let's start our journey in the windswept northwest of France, a region famous for its apples, its World War II history, and its harsh climate. Here we find the first contender, the Normande cow. If we had to define her in one phrase to understand her value in the US market, it would be the gourmet cow that pays for herself. The first thing you'll notice about the Normand isn't just her beautiful tricolor coat, but a fascinating evolutionary detail that many overlook, the spectacles or goggles. Those dark patches around her eyes aren't just for show. They are a centuries-old genetic adaptation that makes her incredibly resistant to solar radiation and pink eye. While other breeds struggle with eye cancer in the bright sun of Texas or the high altitudes of the Rockies, the Normande works comfortably. This tells you something fundamental. She is designed to live outside, on pasture, battling the elements, not cooped up in a concrete barn with fans running 24-7. But let's get to what matters. The money. The Normand won't fill the bulk tank with 100 pounds of milk a day like a show Holstein, and she doesn't have to. Her magic, and your profit margin, is in what is inside the milk. This breed produces the best cheese-making milk in the world, period. It's not an exaggeration. She carries a specific genetic variant in her proteins, the kappa casein B, which makes her milk coagulate much faster and, most importantly, yields more pounds of cheese for every hundredweight of milk pumped. In the US, the artisan cheese movement is booming from Vermont to California. If your business model involves selling to a cheese plant that pays premiums for components, or better yet, if you process your own raw milk products on the homestead, the Normand will give you a profit margin per gallon that no volume breed can match. And here comes the master trick of the dual purpose. Unlike specialized dairy breeds that consume themselves, burning their own body reserves to make milk until they are frail, the Normand holds her flesh. She has marbling, that intramuscular fat that is legendary for its flavor. In France, chefs fight over this meat. For the American farmer, this means that when a Normand cow reaches the end of her productive life, she isn't sold as cheap cutter slash canner beef for hamburger. She hangs with a high-quality carcass grade. And her steer calves? They finish easily on grass, making them the perfect breed for the growing grass-fed beef direct-to-consumer market. Now let's say you like the dual-purpose idea, and the thought of valuable bull calves appeals to you. But the Normand seems a bit too rustic or low-volume for your contracts. You have a milk truck to fill, and you want power in the bucket, but without the fragility of the modern industrial cow. Then you need to look east, towards the cold mountains bordering Switzerland. Enter the second contender, the Montbelliard. I like to call the Montbelliard the Alpine Fortress. Imagine a cow that has almost the production capacity of a commercial Holstein, but built on the chassis of an off-road tank. This breed is a phenomenon that is silently replacing the pure Holstein in many commercial dairies across California and Wisconsin, through crossbreeding programs like Procross. Why? One key concept. Functional durability. The Montbelliard was forged in a mountainous environment where, if a cow couldn't walk miles on steep slopes to find grass, or if she couldn't handle the freezing winters, she was simply cold. Centuries of that pressure created an ironclad genetic line. Her biggest competitive advantage, and where she really saves you money, is utter health and fertility. We all know the drill with high-production breeds, fighting clinical mastitis, spending a fortune on vet bills, and dumping milk down the drain. The Montbelliard has an impressive natural resistance to mammary infections. 
Her somatic cell counts are consistently low, which guarantees you those quality premiums on your milk check. And most importantly, she is not a disposable cow. An average Montbelliard will last you five, six, or even seven productive lactations in the herd. Compare that to the scarce two or three lactations of the average industrial cow today before burnout. That is money straight into your pocket, because you stop spending thousands of dollars raising replacement heifers constantly just to maintain herd numbers. As for production, she is a beast. She can easily hit 20,000 to 24,000 pounds of milk per lactation in good systems, but delivering much higher butterfat and protein than a standard black and white cow. And just like her cousin the Normande, when a bull calf is born you have an asset not a liability. You have an animal worth feeding out. He grows fast and pays well at the feedlot. If you run a semi-intensive system, maybe in the upper Midwest or the Northeast, and you want lots of milk but are tired of vet bills and cows that won't breed back, the Montbelliard is likely the logical upgrade your herd needs. But maybe you are one of those who thinks, that sounds great, but I want raw power. I want to see calves that look like beef breeds at weaning, and cows that still fill the tank. If that is your mindset, if you want to push dual purpose to the limit of horsepower, then there is only one path, Germany and Austria. It is time to talk about the heavy hitter, the true titan of the global dual purpose world, the Cemental. Or as it is known in its modern specialized line, the Fleckvia. Now we need to make a very important distinction here for my American audience. When I say Cemental, I am not talking about the black or red beef Cemental you see in the Angus crossbreeding programs in the Midwest. I am talking about the European Fleckvia line. This is the definition of brute power. It is the second most numerous breed on the planet, right behind the Holstein, and that is not by accident. It is the animal that has best managed to combine two worlds that seem opposite, massive milk production and the muscular conformation of a bodybuilder. When you see a modern Fleckvia cow, you see a large, deep animal with a voracious appetite. This cow is a biological machine designed to turn rough forage, corn silage, and fiber into cash. What is her big differentiator against the other two breeds we discussed? The value of the male. The cemental bull calf is the king of the dairy beef market. They have explosive growth rates and a feed conversion ratio that is scary good. A weaned cemental steer sells at premium beef prices, not dairy prices. For many large operations, the sale of these steers covers the entire feed cost of the mother for the year. It is literally like having an extra ATM in the pasture funding the dairy operation. But don't get confused, she is not just a beef cow that gives a little milk for the calf. Current Fleckvie genetic lines compete head-to-head -head in volume with any specialized breed. We are talking about cows surpassing 22,000 or 25,000 pounds per lactation, but with a physical robustness that demands respect. Her fertility is excellent for a simple metabolic reason. She is a cow that never gets extremely thin. Unlike the Holstein that melts off her back at the start of lactation, the Cemental always maintains body condition and energy reserves. And a cow with energy is a cow whose reproductive hormones work like a Swiss clock, drastically reducing your open days. She is the ideal breed for someone who has plenty of feed, good corn silage, and wants to maximize every square inch of the farm, milk in the tank and meat on the hook, without sacrificing anything. Plus, her adaptability is legendary. She works from the snowy Alps to the humid south. So we arrive at the moment of truth. How do you choose between these three masters of the dual purpose? Let's simplify it so you can make a strategic decision today. Choose the Normande if your focus is extreme quality and low input costs. If you are an artisan cheesemaker, if you value maximum hardiness, if you are grazing on tough terrain and want a cow that requires little care, doesn't suffer in the sun, and gives you the richest milk and the tastiest meat on pure grass, the Normande is your queen. She is the choice for the homesteader and the pure grazier. Choose the Montbelliard if you are coming from a Holstein background and want to keep those high milk volumes, but you are sick and tired of the health issues and fragility. If you want to lower your vet costs, improve fertility, and have a cow that lasts many years producing at a high level without breaking down, the Montbelliard is your logical update. She is the cow for the modern, efficient dairyman who wants functional durability. And choose the Cemental Fleckvia if you want maximum power on both fronts. If you have good feed available and you want your milk check to be huge but you want your cattle sales check to be just as big. If you want calves that grow at record speeds and cows that are tanks capable of producing and rearing at the same time, the Cemental is your best partner. She is the choice for the business-minded farmer who wants to bill heavily for both milk and beef. Successful ranching isn't about having the trendy cow or the one your neighbor has, it's about having the cow that makes your specific system profitable. These three breeds prove that you don't always have to specialize to win. Sometimes, balance and versatility are the most lucrative and secure strategies in uncertain times. I hope this deep dive gave you the clarity and data you need for your next genetic step, but the strategy doesn't end here. 
In our next and final video of this series, we are going to explore the legacy and specialty breeds. We will talk about the Ayrshire with her perfect drinking milk, the Guernsey with her golden milk, and the undisputed queen of the tropics, the Jir. These are breeds with very specific superpowers that might be exactly what you need for your niche. Make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss the grand finale of this saga. To your success, fellow breeder. Until next time.